Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Izam. Today, I have something special to show you. This is it. Whoa! It's a smart projector from BenQ. Uh, BenQ from Taiwan has reached out to me and asked if I would be interested to review this unit. And I said yes. So I'm gonna do a lot of things with this and I'm gonna show you right now. Now this is what I'm excited about because I can connect wirelessly to this smart projector. Before I get into the wireless features, I would love to talk about Blizz because Blizz is pre-installed in this smart projector. You can actually use it to do your web conferencing. It is quite popular but I don't really use it for work. I use another software called WebEx from Cisco. So this is the software I use for work. So in order for me to use this with the smart projector, I actually made use of the wireless features. Do you notice how bright the display is? My room actually uses this bulb. It's a daylight bulb and it produces 800 lumens. Whereas this projector has bulb that produces 3,500 lumens. So you can imagine how satisfyingly bright and clear the picture will turn out. To navigate the user interface of the projector, you can actually use the onboard buttons or you can also use this accompanying app where you can actually make use of the phone's keyboard and the touch screen as a mouse. You know, you can actually connect a wireless keyboard and mouse, but I prefer a wired mouse and keyboard. The projector has this software called WPS Office, and I think this is a very good solution for doing any office work like Word documents, Excel files, PowerPoint, and all these things can be edited using this software. I think it's a brilliant software. The software actually provides you options where you can actually save into your cloud storage like Google Drive, OneDrive. If you have anything in your Google Drive like images, video, music, you can download it easily by accessing Google Drive on the Firefox browser. You can see here that I actually downloaded an image and I managed to download it and save it in the projector and then opening it. I also managed to save an Excel file and open it using the WPS Office software and then I can edit it and save it. As you can see, I'm going to test out YouTube and it plays wonderfully. So here, YouTube is actually in being displayed in 1080p resolution in all its glory. So it's really, really good resolution here. You know, I think this projector is best for home-based learning because you can actually stretch the projector display to a huge size. And because of that, you can actually share whatever is on screen with a lot of people at one time. And not only that, you also get this laser pointer in the remote control. 
This is very useful for teachers especially. I do a lot of digital artwork on my iPad and some of these are so nice that I wanted to get it printed and sometimes I had to imagine how it would look like in A1 size, a huge one. So with this projector, I can actually project directly onto an A1 size foam board like right now. So in order to project accurately on an A1 size on my wall, so I use this app called DynaMapper and I can actually be very specific on where I want to place my artwork. As you can see, there is a bounding box there. It will just use the projector to light up that specific place. Everything else will be darkened. So as you can see, it perfectly matches the A1 size of the foam board. And now I'm going to have a very good gauge of how this artwork is going to look like on an A1 size frame. My wall, the wall that you see here, is actually painted almost black. It's very dark grey. So what I did was, as you can see, I painted these words. So at that time, it was very difficult for me because I didn't have a projector. But now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint on your wall using the projector as well as this app, the DynaMapper app. What I did was actually called projection mapping. So this is a way to create fun art exhibitions using light. So as you can see, these are actually empty boxes. There are no prints on them, so I could actually uh, project light onto them. I think this could be the start of a very interesting art project. But if you don't wish to use this DynaMapper app, you can actually load up your image, your artwork, onto a flash drive and then plug it in into the USB port behind the projector. And the projector can actually directly and immediately project the image onto your wall. If you have a Bluetooth headphone or speakers, you can actually connect to the projector using Bluetooth. You can also connect your wired speakers to the audio out jack on the projector. Alright guys, so that was the review of the BenQ EH600. Whoa! I love it. It's got internet access. It is so bright. It produces 3500 lumens. Brighter than my ceiling lamps. Almost everyone is working from home right now and learning from home. This is the best time to get this product if you need one. Alright, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed that review. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.